What's up, gals and pals? It's your boy Vino, and welcome back to 60 Second Cocktails. Ladies and gentlemen, the other night, I was hanging out with my daughter watching one of my favorite Christmas films of all time, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's right, folks. That's one of my top three Christmas films of all time. I absolutely love it. Now, there's a part in that film where the little reindeer girl goes up to Rudolph and tells him that he's cute, and he absolutely flips his mind, starts going crazy, bouncing, jumping all over the place, and I said to myself, I gotta make a cocktail called a Rudolph Flip. It just kinda came to me, you know what I'm saying? That's how inspiration happens. <laughs> anyway, folks, so we are gonna make a flip today, but not just any flip, a Rudolph Flip. So stick around, and we're gonna boogie down. Rudolph? I think you're cute. I'm cute! I'm cute! Magnificent! I'm cute! I'm cute! She said I'm cute! Not bad! Not bad at all! <laughs> hey, you're okay! She said I'm cute! Ha ha! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys and pals, so like I said, today we are making a Rudolph flip, but before we do that, I do want to take a second to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas, all of my fellow YouTubers, all of my loyal subscribers, my friends, and my family. I love you all, and I wish you a very Merry Christmas, guys, all right? Now, let's get into our cocktail, right? Now, like I said, what we're making is a Rudolph flip. Now, a flip, a flip is a type of cocktail, right, that's usually made with uh, an egg, a whole egg, that's, that's right, guys, not just an egg white, an entire egg, um, rum, and a sweetener of some sort, usually simple syrup, right? Now, uh, in terms of the history of the cocktail, it was invented in England, and I think the first, like, written, uh, you know, evidence of the cocktail was, like, in 1695, um, but the cocktail back then was actually made with beer instead of um, an egg, and what they would do is they would take a hot poker and dip it into the, uh, it, was, it was beer, rum, and sugar, and they would dip it into the uh, concoction, there, and it would cause it to kind of froth up, which was like a flip, they called that a flip, right, guys? So then what happened is later on, it came to the U.S. and like Americans do, we started to change everything. <laughs> and uh, we started to substitute the... Uh the beer with egg, and um, and now you start serving it cold, and that became a flip, right, guys? Now, not the most scientific history of the cocktail, but you'll get the point, all right, guys? Anyway, let's look at what's in the sauce, all right? So the first thing we're gonna be using is two ounces of a cinnamon whiskey, all right, guys? So what I did is I took a little, you know, cheap bourbon, nothing too expensive. I put a couple of um, cinnamon sticks in this bad boy, and then I just infused it for a couple days, and this stuff, Oh my God, it smells fantastic and it tastes fantastic. I mean, this is some good stuff, right guys? So you can use whiskey, you can use rye, you can use bourbon, whatever you want, but I use bourbon because I thought the sweet corn flavor would actually help uh, and lend a little more sweetness to the cocktail, right guys? So let's go two ounces of this. Yeah, I smell this, I smell that cinnamon coming right off of the, right off the, right off the spirit, it's so good. Why don't we move my, uh, Shaker here. I don't know why it's on the side there. <laughs> anyway, guys, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a half an ounce of Kahlua, okay? Uh, that's gonna give us some delicious coffee notes. Now, the uh, flips are like, a, you know, they're considered kind of a, you know, a winter cocktail because they're, they're rich and they're thick and, uh, you know, they, they have kind of like that wholesome eggnog feel, you know? So we're gonna do half an ounce of Kahlua, All right? That's gonna add some of our uh, sweetness to it. I'm not going to be using sipper syrup like they usually use in a flip. I'm going to be using two liqueurs instead, all right? So there it is, half an ounce of Kahlua. Then we're going to do a quarter ounce of Frangelico, all right? And that's going to give us some delicious nutty flavors, right? So basically, it's like a hazelnut coffee flavor we're going to have here, right? So I'm going to do a quarter ounce of Frangelico, all right? Now, if you want to add some syrup, simple syrup as well, just to, you know, give it a little more sweetness, that's completely up to you, but I'm not a huge fan of super sweet cocktails, so I'm perfectly happy with this recipe here, okay? Then we're going to do two, two bar spoons or two teaspoons of uh, half and half, right? Or oh, actually, this is uh, heavy cream, all right? So we're going to do two bar spoons or two teaspoons of heavy cream, all right? And that's just going to add a little more body and uh, volume to the cocktail, okay? All right. You can go, you can, you can withhold this if you want, you don't have to use that, all right? The next thing we're gonna be using is a whole egg. Now, if you're gonna be doing that, you wanna make sure you crack it in a separate container here. That way, if you get any eggshells, you won't get it inside the cocktail. A perfect crack. 
and there we go, you guys, a whole egg, all right? Now, the first thing we're gonna do after that is we're gonna do a dry shake, all right? So we're just gonna try to emulsify the egg and just make sure that uh, it gets broken down pretty good, all right? So we're gonna do that. You're gonna do that eh, 15 seconds. All right, guys, so I think we gave this bad boy a nice shake. I'm gonna pop the valve up here to make sure there's no gas, and then we're gonna open it up. And now we're gonna add our ice, all right? So we're gonna, add, you know, but before we do that, why don't we just put our, our coupe here. You can use, uh, I mean, our, our Nick and Nora, but you can use a coupe, you can use a martini glass. You can really pretty much use any kind of cocktail glass you have, right? So let's go ahead and pour some ice into our shaker. All right, and then you wanna give this a nice 10, 15 second shake as well. All right, guys, so I think we gave that a nice healthy shake, and we're gonna go ahead and pour that into our Nicanora. I like to double strain, just so you have a nice clean presentation. All right, guys. All right, that's looking really good. We're gonna get that right to the tippy, tippy, tippy top, and let's go ahead and put our strain right over here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and garnish that with a little bit of nutmeg. If you got fresh nutmeg, go for it. I do not have that, so I'm gonna be using stuff in the bottle. All right, boom, there we have it. That, my friends, has a hella pretty mouth. That is so pretty, so nice and festive looking. Uh, I mean, it looks like an eggnog, um, but it's not. It's, uh, it's a lot of egg, but ain't no nog. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's go ahead and give this bad boy a sippy set. Right in the nose, you're getting, the, uh, you're getting obviously the nutmeg, but you do pick up that frangelico too. You get the cinnamon, you definitely get some of the cinnamon. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, that is so nice. Whoa, I feel like saying Merry Christmas really loud right now. <laughs> this is like so festive, it feels like Christmas. It tastes like Christmas. I love the coffee notes, I love the hazelnut notes. I mean, you're really getting all of the different kind of flavors you're getting. The cinnamon is probably the most pronounced one because there is two ounces of cinnamon whiskey in this thing. Um, but it doesn't overpower cocktail. You definitely get the coffee and you get the hazelnut on the back end of the palate. It's rich, it's creamy, it's not too sweet, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's delicious, guys. This is a freaking delicious cocktail, man. Mm. Ah. Now, I made this a couple days ago to test it to make sure it was good. And it probably tastes better today than it did then. I don't know what I did. Maybe it's the magic of YouTube. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you like this cocktail, go ahead and give it a try. It is absolutely delicious. And make sure that you share this video. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and make sure that you hit that like button, all right, folks? And leave a comment down there. Tell us, tell me what's your favorite Christmas movie. I'd love to know what your favorite Christmas movie is, all right, guys? Anyway, once again, I wanna wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and um, Stay tuned because next week I'm going to be having a fun, super fun New Year's video where I'm going to be joined by a bunch of my YouTube community and we're going to go ahead and wish all you guys a happy new year and share some of our favorite drinks of 2021. All right, guys? So make sure you stay tuned for that, all right? And that's it. That's all I got for you today. Again, Merry Christmas and I look forward to, to, uh, to uh, sharing my New Year's video with you guys, all right? Remember, when life gives you lemons, I almost forgot to do my thing. <laughs> Remember, when life gives you lemons, make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.